Pitfalls in Difficult Airway Management Pre-intubation Risk Assessment In the management of difficult airway, pre-intubation risk assessment is crucial to prevent peri-intubation cardiac arrest and post-intubation hypotension. Patients with severe metabolic acidosis, hypotension, and hypoxemia are at high risk for complications. The incidence of peri-intubation cardiac arrest and post-intubation hypotension is about 4% and 25% respectively. Both are associated with increased mortality. Avoid inappropriate ventilator settings. Inappropriate ventilator settings in patients with severe metabolic acidosis can lead to complications. Failure to account for respiratory compensation in patients with severe metabolic acidosis is a major pitfall. In situations of severe metabolic acidosis, aggressive ventilation and preoxygenation using non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, such as BiPAP, is vital to prevent a sudden drop in pH. Initiate mechanical ventilation with high-minute ventilation settings can also be helpful. Start with a respiratory rate of 30 breaths per minute and a tidal volume of 8 milliliters per kilogram. Remember to check end tidal CO2 to match the pre-intubation ventilatory effort and check a blood gas shortly after intubation to ensure adequate compensation. Avoid unnecessary sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate administration is controversial and typically does not correct the underlying cause of metabolic acidosis. Treating the underlying cause is the best approach. Avoid prolonged apnea. Prolonged apnea during induction can lead to decompensation. Minimizing apnea time during induction can be achieved by using ketamine-only intubation or performing awake intubation with topical anesthetics. Avoid post-intubation hypotension. Post-intubation hypotension is common and can occur in up to 25% of emergently intubated patients. Resuscitating with fluids or vasopressors prior to induction and intubation is crucial to prevent this complication. Avoid inappropriate induction agents and doses. Inappropriate induction agents or inappropriate doses can cause or worsen hypotension during induction. Ketamine or etomidate are recommended for induction in hemodynamically unstable patients. Incremental dosing can help avoid hypotension or worsened hypoxemia. In conclusion, managing difficult airways requires careful pre-intubation risk assessment, appropriate ventilator settings, avoiding unnecessary sodium bicarbonate, minimizing apnea time during induction, preventing post-intubation hypotension, and using appropriate induction agents and doses. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.